So a lot of you who are watching this love to learn. Uh, you probably sign up for various online courses or you, you know, uh, read or watch, but particularly in terms of online courses, since you are paying for it, it's even more important that you actually implement the things. Otherwise, you'll just end up paying for different things and not, and then just maybe even consuming the content, but not actually doing things that transform your business, yourself, whatever area you're taking courses about. So uh, recently, um, uh, I want to thank Katie uh, Raver for mentioning this important idea that, wait a sec, when we take courses, we should schedule time to implement. And Shweta, you were just asking about, you were just mentioning that, you know, the implementation or practice time ideally should be as quick, as soon after the learning time as possible, because things get cold or things get stale, rather, our learning. Uh, things aren't as energizing when we wait a while after we learned it. So it's like, and there's some some idea, an idea that I've um, promoted for, for a long time in my courses is the speed of implementation. The speed of implementation is one of those things where like, okay, if I dedicate myself to doing something about this course as quickly as I can, it's going to make it much more likely that I do it and that I still remember what I'm doing and to be able to then utilize the Q&A opportunities in that course to, you know, make modifications, customize the course for me, because that's part of what's, you know, what's needed every, every time you take a course. Uh, I hope you're not expecting, uh, sometimes people expect that they could just do everything step by step and it's going to work perfectly out, you know, per work out perfectly for them. And as you probably know by now, it doesn't usually work that way. You usually have to modify it in some way to work with your style, um, with you know, with your needs or whatever. So, uh, Shweta, you know, to, to your question of well, how do we then schedule that? My ideally, I would recommend that you know, for every um, every hour of course content that you receive, that you that you schedule another hour for the practice implementation doing of it. And I think that would be a very um, practical way of, of doing. It. Now, you might, you might not need an hour. Actually, <laughs> if you're taking my courses, they are so dense that you certainly will need an hour probably to review and implement uh, what I share. So, um, uh, you know, and the hour hopefully can be done the same day, if not the same week. So here's my so takeaway for you, our recommendation is as you look at your calendar and you look at the calls that you are attending, if it's a half hour call, then the question is, uh, have I scheduled another half hour to really integrate and practice what it is we talked about? Uh, if it's a one hour call or a 90 minute call, right? On some of my courses, and it's like, hmm, when is it gonna, when can I schedule 90 minutes. Now, those 90 minutes doesn't have to be all in a row. I mean, that, that can be hard to do. You, you, sure, you would schedule to attend a 90-minute call for me. Fine. But can you schedule like three 30-minute segments sometime in the next week uh, to implement or an hour and then another half hour? And uh, Shweta, you also mentioned uh, Focusmate being useful for that. So I would encourage you to you know, schedule Focusmate sessions for the implementation of a course. Now, sometimes you've bought into a course that's pre-recorded, and this is also really important. Like just buying a course doesn't mean you've gotten anything done. Doesn't mean you've moved forward in any way. So if you buy, if you pay money for a course, you should immediately schedule time to watch and then implement. So the course is six hours course. Great. When are you going to do the 12 hours six hours for the learning and six hours for the implementation. And like I said, Focusmate is a great idea for that. And I would, uh, I'm gonna give you in the chat below, if you, folks, if you don't see the, the chat, the comment below for, the, for my Focusmate group, please do, please do ask me about it. Um, I will try to remember to put the chat below here. I'm just, I'm doing it right now for those who are live on the call for Focusmate link. Those of you watching later, just remind me if I don't put it in there. Um, so that's it. So uh, let me know if this is helpful and if you have any other kind of additions to, to, to this uh, thought about learning effectively.